again and thank you for joining me. So today's piece is a bit of a draw this again style piece. A couple of years ago when I was first learning how to use colour pencils, I offered to draw a pet portrait for a friend. I had wanted to practice drawing for her and I knew she had some ridiculously pretty cats, so I asked if she would send me some photos to work from, and she very kindly sent me a whole bunch of different photos to choose from. I set off to work and this was the result. And as you can see, while my drawing skills were pretty good, the colouring itself was very patchy and unfinished I would say. But that was the best that I could do at the time and I was pretty happy with the end result, so I quite happily posted that piece off to my friend. Well, nearly four years later and this wonderful lady has been very kind to me and my family, so I thought it was time that I said thank you by making her something special. I asked her to send me some more recent photos of her precious cats and by the end of the day she had sent me some photos and I got straight to work. My friend had said on multiple occasions how much she loves the eyes on this particular cat. So I chose a suitable reference photo and cropped it in a way that made the eyes the central focus of this portrait. I don't often work in a square format, but in this case it ended up being the best way to make the composition work. I did spend a little bit of time in Photoshop trying out different ratios, but anything other than a neat square kind of made the cat look awkward or misplaced in the frame. the fur was a little bit tricky on this cat. She had some very light fur sitting right next to some very dark ones, so I couldn't just colour those areas in a straightforward manner. I used my ivory pencil quite heavily to impress down into the page, so some of those random light hairs would remain even after I went over the top with darker shades. And I made sure I worked very slowly and deliberately, making sure that every single flick of the pencil followed the direction of the cat's fur. The colours that I chose for the fur were mostly very neutral shades. Ivory, nougat, brown ochre and sepia made up the majority of the fur, with slight touches of a warmer walnut brown for a little variation in the shadows. I used some of my lighter luminance pencils on that very top layer to add just a hint of lighter fur, as they are just that little bit more opaque than the polychromos and they gave a lovely soft fur effect. First, I was a little bit stuck for an idea of what I wanted to do with the background. In the original photo, the cat was just up against a very plain brick wall. So I did a very quick and nasty Photoshop cutout and tried on a few different colours and textures to see what might work. I was mostly trying out some different coloured gradients that followed the direction of the light source in the reference photo. But at one point I accidentally swapped the direction of that gradient and I decided I really liked the effect it gave. It just sort of balanced out the lighting through the whole image, so I decided to go with that. Happy accidents can be the best! When I came to working on the lighter fur of the shoulders, I found myself working in a very different way than I usually would. I wanted that area to have a very soft and slightly out of focus look, so I only added very, very light layers of pencil and used a lot of thinness to really soften out each layer. Making sure each layer was very heavily blended out took a lot longer to get full coverage, especially as I had to wait a long time for the large amount of thinness to dry between layers. But the Arsha's Hot Press took the saturation like an absolute champion. I think I may have had some issues with lifting too much of the colour off with another kind of paper, but I haven't really tried this technique on other papers to know for sure. I finished off the highlights on the drawing using the brush and pencil touch up texture and titanium white mixture. I honestly don't think I'll do whiskers any other way after using this magical stuff. So here's the end result. I have a 30 minute real time video of how I drew the cat's eyes over on my new Patreon page and my friend has also graciously allowed me to upload the reference photos that I used to Patreon as well. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a like or a comment to tell me what you think and if you'd like to see some more of my work why not hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys.